Phase two, phase two, and SpaceX just launched a rocket. They're about to be on phase two. What awesome times we're living in. Some dope stuff, man. Space is back, baby. Space race number two, Mars. There's so much random stuff in the brewery. What is this doing back there? We're gonna see if we can make the toss. We're gonna do it hammer style. It's up! I'm a little dizzy after that now. It's back. This one's landing on a boat. Kettle is cleaned. Wood chiller is cleaned. Chuck is clean. So after the BFBT is clean, then all of the vessels are now clean. We can move on to something else. Being that the kettle is now clean, we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna fill that bad boy up with some water, and then we're gonna make some beer. This is the flywheel. Our flywheel will be figuring out how to make more beer. Cleaning today. Making more beer, which we'll be doing tomorrow and then selling more beer, which will lead us to figuring out how to make more beer. Figuring out how to make more beer, making more beer, selling more beer. H2O. Good stuff. Strike the water set to 188 degrees. What if you win? What if you win? Why? Now that we've got some water in there, turn this bad boy on. 188. Let's go. Okay, so we're at 58.59. We'll see how long it takes to heat this bad boy up. So we gotta look for something else to do. There's always something to do. I'm gonna keg the, uh, the cider. That's what we're gonna do now. It's ready to go. And over the mark. We're at 188. I'm quite ready to brew, so we'll cap her up and wait for a second. Making moves tonight. We cleaned the kettle, ward chiller, fermenter, bright tank. Now we're gonna do some kegging. Clean that bright tank, then brew. For a three barrel batch, let's grab some kegs. One barrel. We're gonna have to clean some more kegs. Boom! Cider's kegged. We're running out of stuff to do, actually. So everything we just did there leads to this, and this is brewing. Okay, with that, the grains are set. Kettle has cooled a little, so we'll flip her back on. We haven't been getting a whole lot done in the project press room department, but we have been getting rid of a lot of dyes. Good work. There's no windows in the brewery. It's really easy to lose track of time. It appears to be daylight again. I feel like I've time traveled noon hour, I believe. <laughs> it's now 7.32, fell uh, into a massive sleep coma after breakfast slash lunch, but we're getting back to it now because we got a brew, and that's what we're going to do. Buddy's Pizza? Oh, this is definitely going to be a work expense today. We'll see if my account catches up with me. For those of you not familiar with Dearborn, this is the world headquarters. For those of you not familiar with Henry Ford, well then, 
there's just no hope for you. Here we go. Brewery's kind of hidden right there. Blinking, you'll miss it. Important for duty, sir. And we're back. This journey shall begin at 1959, AKA PM. This is the outside of the brewery. I don't know if that's ever been in the vlog. It's kind of confusing because it says KDG Finishers Corporation, which is the company that Dennis Downey owns and ran for 30 years. We're on Prospect Street. Downey Brewing Company operates inside of what was the old shipping room. Let's have a look inside. Today, brew day, you know, we're getting going. We've come a long way since our grand opening. This has been a project now that's been in the works for roughly about five years. Officially opened for business about two and a half. Got our license and opened up in November of 2016. We started our strike water earlier. It needs to be at 188. We're currently at 137, so it's gonna take us much less time heat up than if we had to start at zero. Ahead of the game, we're gonna have one slice of pie, and then we'll probably be able to mesh in. slowly warm up and this will be the last step. Let's go grab our grain. Going 
Going for 75 gallons. I'm gonna get there. Big Bad Bruce is clean. And now we're going to sanitize him so we can put beer in there. Water, got 75 gallons of it. I don't know why. I'm still wearing the outer space mask. I don't need that anymore. Anyway. Hot water. Here we go. Next round. First runnings. You don't want these. We've got our wort, which is basically just sugar water at this point. And when this fills up a little more, we're gonna pump it in to the kettle. Leave it here, go in there. Going in here. Getting the wart into the kettle is going to take about an hour. And then we'll boil. See, the thing about music is it soothes the soul. We're taking an intergalactic trip. We better bring some good music with us. We're looking to get 120 gallons. We're at about 110. That's a seven gallon bucket. One more will be pretty close. Go baby! The mash out so far has taken about 55 minutes. The five's good. We're gonna go right around an hour. We're all pumped into the kettle now. We gotta wait till it boils. Got as much as we could. Looks to be about 117 gallons. And now we just gotta bring her to a boil. Got some hops. Yeah, we're just about to set our boil. Well, we are boiling. Time to add our hops, some of them. There's no time to waste though, we've got to sanitize the wart chiller. We've got the timer set for the next hop edition. minutes left of the boil. We've been boiling for 38 minutes. 30 minutes into the boil, 20 minutes left. These guys are going in. Is he a big guy? Twenty minutes left. Let's 
still boiling away. We're coming up on 60 minutes. Boom, there it is. Flame out. Next step, whirlpool. Got our whirlpool going. The kettle there, right? So it zips through here, gets shot back up in here, and then it zips around, creating a cone. Did a whirlpool for five minutes. Now, you rest for 10. All right, let's wait. The rock is making a tequila, which is cool. So he's actually not <coughs> making it. Tasting it, see what he likes. We're making it, so. I think what he's doing is kind of soft. Maybe we should start calling him the sponge. All right, time's up. Party on, Wayne. Let's put this beer in the fermenter. We're rocking and rolling now. That's the beer going in the fermenter right there. We'll see it in about a month. Pumping away here. Looking golden. 75 more gallons to go. Now we're just waiting for the beer to be transferred in. We'll get back to our little buddies over here. We're getting kind of close. Last 25 gallons or so. The last couple minutes here. We've got to keep a keen eye coming out clean now. As soon as it changes, we'll cut her. Okay, that's it. That's it. <laughs> One more thing to do. Well, I can tell you these little yeast guys are about to be real happy. Now this may be the coolest thing you've ever seen. Alright, that's a wrap. We'll see you in a few weeks. <laughs> 14 hours. Plus, uh, we can add an additional nine hours and six minutes to that. 23 hours, six minutes. That was a long list of things to do. Time for some food, some Gary V. And then we'll get back right. Seven fifteen a.m. Back at it. Got to put the Gary B away. Go back to the jams. Clean up. Get ready for the week. The reggae-ish. Try it. It's now 802. We've been here for 12 hours. About to pass the torch to the day shift. Brand new bar, Tony B's. Hooligan is headed there. At night, about 9.30, we're a little behind on inventory this week. Just have a quick snack and then get to that. Basically survived the evening on Buddy's Pizza and a pasta challenge. It's empty now. Have a good meal though, that guy. I'm gonna take a break. Let's get some knowledge. Let's join Gary B. One thing that we didn't do from the brewing yesterday, cleaning out the grains. Hang 
clean organizing. Why is there a ninja sword in the back? Getting to the end of the dies. Kind of the last remnants of KDG. We're gonna use this empty shelf space to clean up this section of the press room. Sunday, we're having a garage sale in here. but this was rather dirty. We've got a blank slate, we're gonna start over. Press room, I don't get a lot of time, but when I do, it's like an all in, chips all in. Mission accomplished on uh, cleaning up this section over here. Solid W. The next adventure, this area. Once we do that, this is this press room is really gonna open up, you know? You're just gonna fly in here and it's gonna be like, so much room. It's 5 a.m. now, we're gonna go grab some breakfast and then figure out the rest of the day from there. Well, ride number one. You're never gonna get anywhere without it. <laughs> what? That's propeller. Yep. Okay, now we're good. Is that the border for Detroit, Tireman? I think so. Yeah. I know that's the, the border for the 12th district of Michigan. Oh yeah, a little bit of rain now. First bicycle club ride in Downey history. The wet one. We got one for the record book. Number uh, one. I don't mind riding in the rain. It's kind of peaceful. Well, what do you think? Ride number one. There's a little rain out there. My still Okie dokie doggy daddy, we got some new journals up in the house. It's not Shinola, because I don't make these anymore, but... Friday made a bed. Marketing things seem to be getting out of the world. See how it goes. The trigger stop killing hip hop. Man, stop! Everyone just hooked up with lots. 
Friday, 4 p.m. We're a little late. It's supposed to be work at the tap room. It opens at 4. We're on the Hilltoe Express today. Boss is only a mile away. Figured I'd get some exercise. We may have to run now. By the way, we do have a parking lot. Jonathan and Leonard. Right there. This guy. What's going on? You got a... A bird up there? Are you making friends? Is it a bald eagle? It'd be a lot cooler if it was a bald eagle. Shuffleboard. Well, we got a boardroom table now. It's time for some, you know, good beer decisions to be made. idea what these guys are talking about but I would love to be a part of the conversation. Luke? Boom! There's the Yanks. This is the one that was brewed up March 29th. 2950 cells. Hype it up. Hype it up. Well, Luke's the Yankee. I see somebody like stand over there and like hold the table. Like, that's it? That's it? That's it. That was it. Why can you just take both arms? I still. Close to Oh, I tried it. what I want to bring your attention to. She is trying to sell these things. 25 cents a pop. Oh, to draw cats. This is not a 25 cent item. I mean, we could, we could flip this for a buck easy all day. Mashing in here. Sweet. No. Alright. Let me uh, see what I. Yeah. How did you do that? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was a stir. It was a stir. I really believe it was a stirring. Yeah, I think oh, that was it. So there is this man named Steven, and uh, I, I think I, I like to refer to him as the weakest of the sauces. Management. Weak, yeah. weak sauce. Weak sauce. <laughs> I gotta get some pictures of the food. Last time I didn't get any, it was, uh, it was popping so much. We are making progress, baby. We got space for the garage sale. Sell anything good? <laughs> I didn't find a thing you want. No. 